rais wetu Garissa iko shida Garissa iko shida si Garissa iko shida Garissa iko shida leo tunasema hashtag yetu Garissa iko shida na sisi tutakueleza shida iliyoko Garissa we the people of Garissa stand united in addressing critical issues impacting our county and expressing our expectations from both the national government and the county government. First and foremost, we wholeheartedly welcome and applaud the President of the Republic of Kenya for his bold move to cut down government costs and reduce resource wastage, which has been a significant burden on Kenyan taxpayers. This decisive action is a step in the right direction towards a more efficient and accountable government. Furthermore, we expect the president to take a leading role in the fight against corruption. We anticipate a swift action to hold accountable those involved in corrupt practices in both levels of government, ensuring a better future for our generations. In the ongoing fight against corruption, we acknowledge the efforts of Anti-Corruption Commission in summoning and apprehending suspect of grafts from the Garissa County government. However, months have passed since the investigation began, and we believe senior government officials have been interfering with the process, protecting the corrupt governor and his cronies. We urgently request the president to intervene and stop the cabinet secretary from Garissa County from shielding the corrupt from prosecution. It is well known that he initiated this mess in the county government by publicly instructing the governor to sack and victimize county workers. The governor, believing he has political protection, has followed these directives, leading to the rampant corruption and mismanagement we now face in our county. As you all know, the corrupt governor has been siphoning funds from the county coffers, including diverting salaries of the illegally dismissed staff. We have taken this matter to court and we are confident that the case is at an advanced stage, awaiting conclusion at the appellate court. We now call upon the people of Garissa County to exercise their democratic right and join us in a peaceful demonstration to, to demand action from our government. We urge everyone to come out in large numbers on a date to be announced as we address the pressing issues affecting us. This includes corruption and mismanagement of resources, farmers' struggles, unlawful dismissal of county staff. The governor has unjustly dismissed county staff targeting individuals affiliated with the previous administration and those perceived to have voted against him. This vindictive action not only violates their rights, but only represents an acceptable abuse of power. In place of these dedicated employees, the governor has unlawfully employed ghost workers through nepotism and clanism, blatantly ignoring the court's directives that prohibits new hires until the case is resolved. This action also undermines fair employment practices. Issue of hiking of household water prices. The Garissa Water and Sewerage Company has significantly increased household water prices from 1,700 to 3,000 shillings without the constitutionally, the constitutionally required public participation or seeking the required approval from WASREP. WASREP is a water regulatory body mandated to control tariffs. We have presented all necessary evidence to the DCI, the Directorate of Criminal Investigation, and we urge for this process to be expedited to ensure swift and decisive action. Finally, in the recent utterances, the corrupt governor of Garissa County has confirmed that he intentionally sacked staff without due process claiming their salaries as haram. We want to make it clear to the inept, corrupt and the illiterate governor that we will not accept our rights to be violated 
and simultaneously be insulted by a despotic and despicable buffoon who is illegally in office with a fake degree. Uh, Mr. President, His Excellency William Samoy Ruto, you recently visited Garissa and you, re and you reviewed, renewed, renewed clerical call Mambo ni Matatu to fight corruption. We are still waiting. We are still waiting you to act on your, on your promise and crack the whip on the corrupt leaders from Garissa, including <coughs> those who are protecting the corrupt governor. One, uh, CS Honorable Duale, the Defense Cabinet Secretary, who is protecting the corrupt governor. We are appealing to you to act, Mr. President, come 2027. If you will not act, the corruption going on in Garissa County, rest assured, we will not give you a single vote. Uh, the one of EACC. EACC, we know we have every evidence you need to prosecute the corrupt leaders from Garissa County and also the governor of Garissa. Rest assured, you have our support and we expect you to expeditiously bring the corrupt, the culprit, before court. We expect them to serve jail time. We also expect our looted resources to be recovered. Thank you. Mr. Abdi Mohammed Dafara, I'm one among the affected staff. I'm, I'm, I'm the spokesperson for the affected staff of Garissa County. It has come to our knowledge that uh, we are IDDP in the employment system. Our personal number is active. Our salary was coming to this county for the past two years, and this money was supported illegally by the governor. The other thing is, we have gone to labor court. This corrupt governor has compromised the labor court, and uh, justice was not served. We have now moved to appeal court, and we are waiting for justice to be served. More so, the, 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 the governor is running this county without any adherence to the constitution of the land. He was in operation for two years without a chief officer. Now, yesterday, or the day before yesterday, he recruited 10, 30 chief officers to assume office. And previously in the Senate, we had all of chief officers who were affinity to money, or rather appetite for money, which were meant to loot the treasury and illegally. This money that was being looted by these affinity officers for the two years cannot be accounted for. The money that was remitted to Garissa County is nearly 24 billion for these two years and no development that was touched, even no toilet that was constructed. Our salary was been coming and it's been misused. The other thing, the governor indulged in unconstitutional affairs. Like, I don't know where this stands. And he got in, uh, people together and he initiated a uh, in, uh, marriage uh, bill. This marriage bill was not in, uh, passed through the assembly. It was not uh, publicly participated upon. He made his own decision and then he, he used the public money for marriages. Mimi kwa majina naitwa Suleiman Abdiwab, popularly known as Solo. Mimi nataka kuongea na rais ya nchi ya Kenya, Daktari William Ruto. Tunasema eh, rais wetu Garissa iko shida. Garissa iko shida. Si Garissa iko shida. Garissa iko shida. Leo tunasema hashtag yetu Garissa iko shida. Na sisi tutakueleza shida iliyoko Garissa. For the last two years after election, I think we have had two financial years. Hatujawahi pata services yote kutoka county government ya Garissa. Hakuna miradi, hakuna services, hakuna maji kwa hii mji ya Garissa. Hakuna dawa kama hospitali. Actually, 
hospitali ambayo tuko nao hapa inaitwa level Garissa level 5 hospital saa hii ukienda raisi na hata na kupea permission wewe at your own comfort siku moja uende kwa ile hospitali na utaona muujiza hakuna service ambaye service yote ambayo tunapata kutoka serikali ya ugatusi kutoka financial bill final two financial zile ambayo tulipita hiyo ni moja ingine bwana rais iko corruption garisa corruption ambayo ni daylight broad ni usuku na mchana county administration ya mula hii wamependekeza kupora raslimali ya wananchi bila kujali chochote they have absolute disregard to any law in Kenya and we have witnessed this daylight broad ya corruption whether it is the governor or any other person who assume office in Garissa County especially wale anawaita blue eyes boys tume tumeshuhudia raslimali yetu inaenda kwa serek, uh, mainchi za kigeni we have the county secretary who is coming from abroad anachukua raslimali ya Garissa anapeleka inchi za kigeni we have also witnessed raslimali ya Garissa inanunuliwa mashamba kutoka Nairobi na eneo mengine hata kama ingekuwa ingetumia ile pesa kununua mashamba Garissa hata ingekuwa ni afadhali rais tunakwambia Garissa hiko shida and up, up until to part interventions yako kabla haijalubuka vile na Nairobi na eneo zingine ililibuka kutoka kutumia vijana wa jinsi tunakuomba na tunakuia radhi ya kwamba uingilie shida iliyoko Garissa absolutely tulifunga macho tulililia na of course atupati uh, suluhisho tulilia kwa viongozi wetu wale tuliyowachagua both in the national assembly and the county assembly we have had several occasions the county assembly crying and making outburst that is true individually and even their collective but of course the cunning we have a very cunning governor who tries to play around the minds of the county assembly he tries to compromise them by bribing them anawagawanya kwa vizingi ya ya ukabila na kupeana ahadi ambaye haziwezi haziwezi patikana of course you can well you can know that assembly member mmca ni muta alichagulia hapa kwa grassroots na tomorrow he will want to go back to the same grassroots and of course he need to showcase something in the in the post that kesho achaguliwe sasa gavana anajaribu kudanganya wale assembly ya kwamba kutakuwa na miradi fulani fulani katika assembly ndio ndio aweze e, bukana na vipoko ya county assembly of course we have made our cry to our national leaders that is the senate uh, senate our senator abdul haji and of course the members of parliament and, uh, and i am very much sure i know you have seen several clips ya viongozi wa garisa wa kikanya gavana ya kwamba atumia raslimali ya garisa ipazafio